I'm Mark Dresner, and this is the Research Insider, a special interview series featuring experts and leaders in market research, consumer insights, and media intelligence. We have a very special group of guests on the program today. Joining us are the Next Generation Market Research, or NGMR as it's called, award winners for disruptive innovation. Tell us a little bit, Tom, if you could, just for background, about the NGMR Disruptive Innovation Awards. Well, it's a four-year-old award now, and uh, basically the 20,000-plus 20, market researchers that are part of the Next Gen Market Research Group each year are encouraged to uh, submit nominations for companies or individuals that they feel uh, have really contributed to marketing research. And a judging committee goes through, and we look for not just you know what's new uh, and, and disruptive, but also some, something that takes hold um, and as, as part of the judging criteria as well. Well, let's talk to the winners themselves. Um, why don't we start with you, Alex? You want to tell us a little bit about uh, what went into winning this award? The first is really making disruptive and different uh, research methodologies you know, part of our day-to-day -day and we live and we breathe it um, for, a, for a research approach to be labeled one of our core products, one of our core GC products. It really has to, by definition, challenge one of the existing conventions of, of, of market research. I think the second part, um, you know, is really the thought leadership part that, that Tom was, was referencing. I mean, just taking a position um, and, and not being afraid to, to speak our mind and, and challenge some of the, you know, existing conventions that the research industry has and, and, and challenge them and, and not be afraid to, um, to be wrong at times, in fact, um, but really taking a taking a stand and um, you know, challenging the industry to, to move forward. Niels, why don't you tell us a little bit about uh, the background that went into, or the work that went into you winning the award this year? Yes, well, we focused on uh, communities, we call them consumer consulting boards, <laughs> and uh, we really put in, I would say, our collective wisdom of over seven years of R&D research and development about the method. For us, it's all about humans, understanding humans and their relationships, which if you look back at what market research should be, that's what it should focus on. A second element that differentiated is what we call internal leverage, mm -hmm. which is very important um, today for market researchers to gain relevance within companies. It's important that we give research an afterlife or a longer shelf life than just the PowerPoint report or the our workshop that we do. So we set up internal communication campaigns, if you want, to, you know, with interactive reporting formats um, to really change managers' minds, behaviors, and thoughts about a certain topic. It's really a collective set of people uh, from all layers in our organization, um, very young, that stimulated guys like me to also think further, and that's, I think, the, the, the big success of this. And Bob, talk to us about disruption as the disruptive individual in the group here. Well, it's kind of been a standard um, in the business, which is almost 20 years old now. And what we learned early on was that we had to be different, and not just a little bit, but demonstrably so. Uh, when we first raised the issue of data quality, um, I think two things occurred. Number one, we had no idea what a hornet's nest we were really stirring up. But secondly, everything that we did, all of the advocacy that we threw behind it, became something that the great bulk of the industry you know, really took to. There were some people who were disturbed because it was going to cost them financially. But the, the thing that I really learned from that episode more than anything else was um, there was trouble differentiating us from other uh, media people in research up until we did the data quality advocacy. After that, everybody knew who we were. And we've been able to take advantage of the social media situation and all the blogging and all the commentaries and everything else that's out there every day to the point where we're able to integrate that into a news summary. And the um, best compliment I've heard from people is, yeah, you are time and time again delivering news that we're just not hearing anywhere else. Congratulations to all of you, and thanks for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you. Great. And that concludes this episode of the Research Insider. I'm Mark Dresner, and you've just heard the Insight Scoop. 